sweet to yourself. I saw a really, really good post that said, um, you know, that some days you have it in you and you do so much and then some days you don't. Okay. You just, you just have a little bit and that's okay too. And so, you know, whatever you got is enough. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just bring this energy into the space. And I invite you to just relax. Find a way to balance yourself. Find a way to surrender to whatever is in front of you.
Lucky you, you better. 
that's coming up in light, you know, um, for the astrology of July, Big Bang, okay, a lot of stuff we're coming out of that Mercury and retrograde period, um, and then we have some very interesting, like, uh, other aspects, um, showing up. you're gonna 
takes to release what we need to let go and embrace what allows us to grow. Let our journey encompass the lineages, traditions, religions, and spiritual paths that bring light out through us to share with others. I say all of this in the name of I am. Ashe. 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 Okay. Okay. So breathe through this. us all. But 
most importantly lights your path is here for your safety is here to protect you you are now in a space and an awareness to know how to use these resources because when we're younger we don't quite understand what's going on we're relying on people around us to interpret the messages and if they're not good at interpreting messages you know <laughs> but now you can interpret your own messages now you have the power to change whatever is coming up in your life and so you have greatness that you're working on that you're building that you're growing but at the same time in order to be able to have that greatness to work through that because when you're building something important that can be challenging too okay that can be challenging too things can be boring things can be frustrating there can be setbacks sometimes you get a lot of kind of a work so you you have to do a lot of things at one time so all of those things they're coming up but you had to be ready and you had mindset and so the person that you used to be is in conversation with the person that you are now and you have to make peace with that version of yourself and let them be in the past and grow into this next version of yourself you need peace you can't do this greatness stuff if you are in a constant state of anxiety if you're constantly worrying about the past and in these states of depression if you're constantly worrying about the future in these states of anxiety now I get it it's not that simple it's not that black and white if you could push off feeling uncomfortable turn it off you know that would be easy but that's a part of your path to figure out what you need to do to heal but the clues are everywhere that is how I healed myself the clues were everywhere from every healer I went to to every doctor I went to to every moment in my own solitude to the connections to the people around me to pursuing things that had nothing to do with my health but made me happy the clues were everywhere so that's where it is if you want to relieve the anxiety if you want to relieve the depression if you want to heal the trauma you have to be willing to work at getting yourself to where you need to be you gotta be willing to play the game the game of healing the game of life the game of healing sometimes that means therapy sometimes that means changing your environment the people around you sometimes that means seeking a new doctor a different doctor a different perspective it always means having a collective and a team of people who are here to help you changing your mindset not giving up when you hit a wall knowing that no matter what is going on health wise that there is still a fire inside of you that can make the decision that you are going to live out to your greatness your potential and all of that and as long as that fire is still burning within you you will get to your path it's just it's inevitable i'm just telling you the way that I see it in the way that it happened to me but feeling safe is important so take some breaths expand take up space because sometimes not taking up space can be a part of the issue wanting to shrink down wanting to not be seen feeling like others know more than you do or for some reason feeling like everyone else is normal and you for some reason uh, just have this string of bad luck or something like that now let me tell you something everybody feels that way so that's probably more of the norm right there 
it is mediumship and clairvoyant. In front of the veil where we live in our everyday life, sight is your visualization or your co-creation of life. It doesn't matter which one you have or which one you want to use. It is up to you to decide and it's really cool because we all have the ability to have the visualization and the co-creation and it's so powerful because with sight, with mediumship and clairvoyance, we're receiving messages and we're taking things as they are. But when we have the visualization or we have the ability to see what is right in front and co-create, we have the power. It doesn't matter what we think the future will be or what we, we we're trying to receive a message of like, oh, what will the future be? Please tell me. It's not that. It's what do I want it to be? And ask the universe. We are all in a partnership with the universe or whatever you connect to. We're all in a partnership. We're all in the best partnership. So if, if you've ever been in toxic relationships, this might be a little bit of a hard concept to work through. But we're all in the best partnership. The universe says, you can have anything, but you can't have everything. So you have to decide what is important to you. Tell me what you want. And many people don't know what they want. That's what gets people tripped up. They're trying to do everything because they don't know what they want. But you do know what you want. But sometimes there's a fear that going after what you want, you might lose out on something. Maybe the opportunity cost of something. Don't worry about that. Just know that if you are going to do whatever this thing is, rain or shine, when it's boring, when it's fun, then it's a part of your purpose. And it doesn't matter if anybody else agrees with you. Who cares? It's a part of your purpose. And that is why you are in this experience. To share with others. To bring light to us. So we can see that. That gift that you brought with you. Within this experience. So understand. That you're on the right path. That everything you've experienced. Is normal. A lot of experience difficult times and have to learn how to get to the other side and even getting to the other side takes time so you don't have to pressure yourself to be perfect just know you don't have to do it on your own always reach out for help always appreciate the support that's around you and always change the support if it is not what you need all of this is helping you even on an esoteric level, connecting to your guides, your archangels, your ancestors, your Orisha, whatever it is that you connect to, all here to help and guide you. But you have to be open and connect, and that's trusting yourself, which we did. Having unconditional love for yourself. And you have to feel safe. Because only when you feel safe will you actually be able to house. You know, if you didn't feel safe somewhere, you're like, I'm not going to build a house here. I'm going to keep moving. And if you've been in a constant state of movement your whole life, it feels like that. Never feeling like any place is certain. But it's time to take roots. It's time to anchor down. It's time to feel safe. And this time, nothing outside of you creates safety. It is what's inside of you that creates safety. You. You're the commonality. You have to look no further around. Just look within yourself. You have the ability to root yourself whenever you need to, okay? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And work through it. Allow this to open up any messages that you need to receive to guide you on your path. Don't fall. Pray to the get there quick stance or that one person can solve all your problems or one part of the journey is the end all be all. It's a long journey, but the journey, it gets better and better. You get to enjoy it more and more. And sometimes the situations don't even change that much. It's our perspective and our outlook. We stop suffering as much. We start just going through the challenges 
700 videos or over 700 videos because the girl be working um but my personality is very serious i have a very serious personality and it took a lot of work to get this cheesy and this corny it took a lot of work and i work hard each and every day to get a little bit more cheesier because life is not
sense of certainty, but everyone just wants to belong. They want to feel a part of community, but you can find community in all kinds of places. Just know that, babies. Just know that. And last but certainly not least, on your spiritual, your energetic, your existential path, what are we doing here? Well, it aligns your soul. You work through different things. You work through all of this stuff, whether it is this lifetime or lifetimes before, or honestly, it doesn't really matter what I am saying in the way that I'm communicating my understanding of the universe. You get to decide what your understanding of the universe is. That's why in our opening prayer, I make it a point to say religions, traditions, spiritual paths, because you don't have to look at everything, the universe, the unknown, the divine, and the way that I do for us to be able to be in a collective, in a community, and support each other. So I just want to empower you to connect into your understanding, to make that decision, make changes, make advancements. And the more you get strength there, the more things just become simpler and easier, and you have more trust. And that goes ultimately to self trust, trusting yourself. So that is how this can help. So as we have been speaking, I've been working on your energy and you have been working on your energy and all that is in this moment and that will ever be in this moment with you and I and all this lovely energy around us is here for your highest vibrational good. It's here for you. It's here for you. It's here for me. It's here for we. It's here for us. It's here for you. So you're never alone. You don't have to have all the answers to be on the right path. Mistakes are allowed and encouraged. You learn more from mistakes than getting it right. And you have to take responsibility for healing yourself on multiple levels. The mind, the emotions, the physical body, the mental, the belief, all of these things, the relationships you have with other people, it's a lot of work. It really is. But it is one of the best things you can do for yourself. I am a living testament. And most of that work I did on my own. Learning a little bit from here and a little bit from there. That's why I try to consolidate and just kind of give you all the things I've learned over time. And with all of this and all of my journeying and continuing to journey because sis loves the journey, I will say this. It's gonna be okay and you can trust yourself. You don't have to know the answers. You don't have to be whole. You don't even have to be happy to make that next step to get you on the path to where you want to go, to where you feel more whole, okay? The prerequisite is not everything has to feel good to make a decision that you want to be where you need to go. If you're on that path, the solutions you need will appear. But most important is to trust yourself. You trust yourself more than anybody. Anybody outside of you, trust yourself. The answers are always there. And the cool thing about it is it's going to take you all over. As my mom would say, all over the mulberry bush. You're going to go over here, going to go over there. It don't seem like it makes sense until you get to a certain point. You look back like, oh, all of this was interconnected, perfectly designed for you. There is no linear roadmap. It looked like this. <laughs> but that helps. Every little thing, every little interaction is healing as well. It's a part of it. It's a part of the purpose. It is a part of why we are here. So I believe, you don't have to believe this, that's your business. This is what I believe. I believe that we are this soul, this physical soul that incarnates into this body. I believe that this soul is infinite um, and what's out there, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, it's, it's hard enough to even feel like I can understand this part, right? I just feel like so small into the complexity of the universe. I don't think I'll ever be smart enough to know. But we are the 
soul that incarnates into this physical body and perhaps we come back in different lifetimes and all of this now everyone has their own interpretation of what this is and why we're here and what this experience is and that is good because you get to define why it is important for you to live and to enjoy and to learn and all of that kind of stuff that's really important you got to make that decision on your own and the cool thing about it is as a species because y'all know i love to get into us as a species i go down rabbit holes of nutrition <laughs> and evolution all the time as a species we're so interesting because across all of these different cultures all around the world we explain the divine in different ways but there are these overlapping concepts that can be found in different places and that makes sense because when these different cultures interact with each other there's also a merging of understanding too and even when cultures are really remote have no interactions there's still this overlapping understanding because we as the same species are kind of encountering similar like mm, what's out there what is the meaning of this all and we're kind of coming to our understanding in a similar way so i say all that to say you can't get it wrong even if it's different you can't get it wrong <laughs> it's gonna be okay you can trust yourself because you cannot get it wrong you can't you can't if you're working towards your wholeness, you can't get it wrong. If you believe that there is something greater for you than this one moment, you can't get it wrong. Again, there will be challenges. It will be tough at times, but you can't get it wrong. Just keep going. Just take some more steps. Sometimes the fear is bigger than the actual problem. Sometimes the fear is bigger than the actual thing. And our minds are so strong that we can create the reality. That's what it's all about with this co-creation stuff. We create the reality and we materialize it. But it starts up here first and then it's physical. So if we're that strong, unconsciously, if we're in a fear state, no matter how we got there, if we're in a confusion state, no matter how we got there, we can still materialize it and attract that. So just know that it doesn't matter where you're at now. Even if you're not at the place that you want to be, in this moment, you can always make a decision to decide, that's where I want to be. And give yourself time. Because we overestimate what we can do in a year. But we underestimate what we can do in 10 years or a lifetime. You have so much. 